Last December 1st, Pope Benedict made a special appeal for prayers at the end of his weekly general audience in St. Peter's Square. He said, I commend to your prayers and to those of Catholics throughout the world, the Church in China, which as you know, is going through a particularly difficult time. We ask the Blessed Virgin Mary help of Christians to sustain all the Chinese bishops who are so dear to me so that they may courageously bear witness to their faith, placing all their hope in the Savior whom we are awaiting. We also entrust to the Virgin Mary all the Catholics of that beloved country, that through her intercession they may be able to live an authentic Christian life in communion with the Universal Church, contributing in this way also to the harmony and common good of their noble people. Why this urgent appeal for prayers? And why are we praying this month that the Lord may help the Church in China persevere in fidelity to the Gospel and grow in unity? The situation in China is very complicated. In the 1950s, the Chinese government sought to gain control of the Church by creating the Catholic Patriotic Association. The government, in conjunction with this association, declared that it alone had the power to appoint bishops, something that's contrary to the Church's freedom and doctrine. Many Catholics went underground, and the result was a divided church. In 2007, Pope Benedict tried to address this situation by writing a letter to the Chinese church, and by trying to work with the government in such a way that the church's right to appoint bishops was recognized. Since then, there have been ups and downs. Last November 20th, a government-appointed bishop was ordained, and according to reports, Various duly ordained bishops were forced by the government to attend and participate in his consecration. The Holy Father immediately protested, and his urgent plea for prayers at his general audience arose from this situation. More recently, this past March 30th, a priest was ordained who had the approval of both the government and the Vatican, indicating a possible improvement in the situation. But. Retired Cardinal Zen of Hong Kong on a trip to the U.S. in April said, I bring bad news about the church in China. The bad news is that the government's policy has not changed and it continues to want to control the church. Also, last month, a special Vatican commission on the church in China met and stated, We look with trepidation and fear to the future. We know that it is not entirely in our hands and we launch an appeal so that the problems do not grow and that the divisions are not deepened at the expense of harmony and peace. The commission went on to say, we noted the general climate of disorientation and anxiety about the future, the sufferings of some places deprived of pastors, the internal divisions of others, the preoccupation of still others who do not have sufficient personnel and means to tackle the phenomena of growing urbanization and depopulation of rural areas. Their statement about places deprived of pastors is no exaggeration. According to reports, 44 of 97 dioceses do not have a bishop, and many of these have been without a bishop since the 1940s. Last year, a 75-year-old priest, whom both the government and the church approved, was made the bishop of a diocese that had been vacant since 1962. That Pope Benedict is gravely concerned about the church in China is seen in his appointment of Father Savio Tai Fai, a seminary professor from Hong Kong, as secretary of the Vatican Congregation for the Evangelization of Peoples. The Holy Father ordained Father Savio as an archbishop on February 5th of this year. In his 2007 letter to the Catholics of China, Pope Benedict asked that May 24th be celebrated annually as a day of prayer for the church in China. Let us pray now with part of the conclusion to the Holy Father's letter. May Mary most holy, mother of the church and queen of China, who at the hour of the cross patiently awaited the morning of the resurrection in the silence of hope accompany you with maternal solicitude and intercede for all of you together with St. Joseph and the countless holy martyrs of China. Amen. <laughs>